Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a technique I use to have lots of animations whilst also having a light and dark theme on my website. To achieve this, you might think you need two versions of your animations, one light and one dark. However, that's not necessarily the case, and I'm going to show you a method which is a lot less resource intensive by using SVG filters. So the result of what we're going to make is this. We can easily change our website from light to dark mode, and our lotties react to this. And this is the base color, so just the black stroke. And then in dark mode, they go to white. And this technique also works with different colors. And that's how I've made this red, green, and blue color switcher to them. I'm using a framework called Nuxt, which is managing the light and dark theming of the website with a module called color mode. But it doesn't really matter how you're implementing this because all we do is apply a specific CSS class to our Lottie animations. So to get that CSS class, I'm going to show you how. So first head over to this code pen by Susuke. And as it's said in the description, if your icon isn't black, prepend brightness zero and saturate 100% to the filter we're going to be generating. So because we're using a dark theme, I want my Lottie animations to be white. So I'm just going to type in FFF, FFF and compute the filter. Obviously change this if you want a different color. And then I'm just going to copy the filter that is generated for us. Head over to our code and create a CSS class for this filter. So here I've just made a bunch of filters with the different colors I want. And then second step, head over to your HTML. I've got my component called display pack which is managing my lot animations because there's a lot of them. So it's just a component I'm using uh, to manage the rows, but here's my Lottie interactive element. And above that, I'm applying my white filter class, depending on the color mode that's selected. So in Nuxt, all I have to do is check the color mode preference. And if it's dark, I'm going to apply my white filter class. Obviously, if you're not using Nuxt, uh, you're going to have to figure that out because everything's different. But the basic idea still applies. All you do is apply your filter class whenever dark mode's activated. And that's it really. It's as simple as that. A simple filter can change the color of a Lottie animation. And we don't have to do any reloading or changing the animations on the fly, things like that, which would be very resource intensive. Here we just apply a CSS class and we can dynamically change the colors of our Lottie depending on if we're in light mode or dark mode or if you want to create a color picker like I did. If this video helps you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie animations.